Hi friends, today's lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 9. Our learning goal for today says, I can use pictures to create number sentences and number bonds. The great thing about math is that sometimes you get to tell a story with it. Are you ready for a good math story today? Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a princess that lived in the castle. Bring, there she is. One day, the princess looked outside and she saw, ah, four dragons coming for a visit. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Then all of a sudden, one more came. How many dragons altogether visited the princess that day? Oh, do you see how I used math to tell a story? Oh, I'm so good. All right. Today what we're going to do is we're going to use stories, but mostly just pictures, I like to add stories in with them, to write number sentences and also number bonds. Are you ready? Let's talk about our dragon friends. So I have my number bond all ready. There were four dragons that came to see the princess first, and then one more little friend came swooping in. If I wanted to, I could write a whole big number sentence talking about those dragons. I could say blank dragons plus blank dragon equals blank dragons. That means in the beginning I had four dragons plus how many more dragons came along? Yeah, one more dragon. And when I had four dragons and I added one more, how many dragons did I have all together? You're right, five dragons. Five dragons went to visit that princess. What would you do if five dragons showed up on your doorstep? Yeek! Okay. So now I'm going to take my good number sentence telling that little bitty story and I'm going to put it um, in my number bond. So I have my two parts and then I have my whole amount. So one of my parts is the first group that showed up, four. My other part would be one because I had another part that came along later. What would my whole amount be then, friend? Yeah, five, because in the end there were five dragons. Excellent job. Are you ready to try another one? Here we go. Oh, look at these puppies. They're so cute. Do you agree? Which one's your favorite? Ah, I can't pick a favorite. I can't. They're too cute. Okay, so here we go. Let's take those cute babies and we're going to write a number sentence. <clears throat> this one says blank white puppies plus blank brown puppies equals blank puppies. So one of the parts is going to be the white puppies. The other part's going to be the brown puppies, but when we put them all together in one big group, that'll be all the puppies. Are you ready? So, how many puppies do you see with some white on them? Yeah, I see one, two. Okay, and then how many puppies do you see that are mostly brown? Yep, one, two, three. Perfecto. And then how many puppies are there all together? You could count up three and then count up two. Three, four, five. Or you could use your picture to help you. One, two, three, four, five. There are five puppies all together. Friend, are you just thinking in your good brain how you're going to fill in that number bond? Are you? Because we have the two different parts of the group of puppies, and then we put them all together to make the whole amount. You know what I'm going to have you do, because I know your brain is already working. Press pause, go get your dry erase board, and I'm going to have you fill in the number bond by yourself. Okay, are you ready? I want you to go ahead and fill in that good number bond with the information and then press play to check yourself. Okay, I know part of that big group of puppies is the white puppies and there were two white puppies. The other part of that group of puppies were the three brown puppies. And when I put them all together in one cute cuddly group, there were five puppies in all. Friend, is that what your number bond looked like? Oh, it is? Oh my goodness, did you know that puppies would be helping us with math today? <laughs> so fun. Go ahead and erase your word. We're going to try another one. You can just go ahead and draw an empty number bond right now. Are you ready, friends? Here we go. Kitties! Oh, they're so cute. I love those kitties. All right, we're going to have to divide them up into parts. What do you think? What could we use to divide up those kitties into groups? I know. Let's say blank orange kittens plus blank gray kittens equal kittens. All right, so what I would like you to do right now, you don't have to write out all those words, that would take a billion years, but I do want you to try to draw a number sentence without writing the words. So it says blank orange kittens, what number would you put there? Plus blank gray kittens, what number would you put there? 
Okay, did you put four for orange and three for gray? Good job. Now friends, we had four orange kittens and three gray kittens. How many kittens all together were in that big old group? All right, if you don't know, say four and then count up three. Four, five, six, seven, or you can use the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven kittens all together. Oopsie, I forgot to put it down in there. I put it up in the number of on and said, oops, a daisy, what am I thinking? All right, I want you to go ahead and press pause and fill in that good number bond. Press play to check yourself, okay? You ready? So I know that four was part of that seven because of the four orange kitties. I know that three was the other part because that's the three gray kitties. And then all together I had seven and that would go at the top. But in my case, I put it in the number sentence because I forgot to fix that. How's it going, friend? You doing a nice job? Perfecto, let's try another one. Oh, just kidding. Our learning goal for today says I can use pictures to create number sentences and number bonds. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Friend, we did have one more because this is your turn. Do you see all those beautiful hearts? Good. What I'm going to have you do, <clears throat> and for this one, you do need to write out the words. It says blank red hearts plus blank purple hearts equals blank hearts. I want you to write that whole sentence. Tell me how many red hearts, how many purple hearts, and then how many hearts all together. Then I want you to use those numbers and put them in your number bond. When you're all done, go ahead and send me a seesaw. Good luck, friend.